this generation of people are offended by everything. Oh, so fabulous. <laughs> hi guys welcome back to the channel once again it's a girl to maybe leah if this is your first time coming across my channel you're welcome i do hope you decide to subscribe and if you are a returning subscriber you guys know that i love you it's so good to have you here welcome back so my usual disclaimer this video is strictly for educational purposes please do not go searching out the people that i talk about in this video don't send them any form of hate hate comment threats or violence this channel does not support any of that so today's video is is something that got people in the black community talking and of course some of the people that are not members of our community talking people seem to have a difference of opinion it was a video made by a black woman you know what i'm just going to go right ahead and play her video yeah hello how are you how are you she came in with pretty curls now she came can you please not talk about when i switch up my hair it's I, I know, but like as a black person, it's to me, it feels like a microaggression. I deal with it all the time at work and you can make that I face. The same thing I know, I know, I know. I'm just saying, I'm telling you how it makes me feel. Everyone's different. But personally, if you like there, oh, pretty here. You don't have to like clarify that it was different each and every time because it makes me uncomfortable. I just like the way you change I know this. I, I'm not looking for any excuses. It's just, it makes me uncomfortable. Okay. Cool. so as you guys can tell from that video she was filming her interaction with probably maybe a co-worker or the security guard at her office place or wherever it was she was going and she was basically setting a boundary right so now if you just look on the surface it is easy for you to feel like okay this is someone who doesn't want to take a compliment and then you might not understand why she might have reacted the way that she did but if you look deeper you would understand especially if you are a black woman that can relate to what she has said but you know before we get into it let me just go right ahead and play people's stitches and responses to that whole situation can you please not talk about when i switch up my hair it's, i think it's beautiful i i know but i feel so bad for the woman that she recorded and put on blast to the entire world for simply trying to make someone feel better about themselves someone that's naturally shy and struggles a lot with trying to bring myself to compliment someone when i want to i know complimenting someone takes a lot of courage and confidence and the fact that you have to nitpick the way she compliment you just says a lot about you more than her i don't think there was anything wrong with the way she complimented you everyone is different and you can tell that this woman her compliment was genuine because she actually paid attention to detail and she wants you to know that she notices that you put effort into your hair to your beauty her entire attitude just gives me regina george vibes like don't talk to me, you're a peasant, you're not worthy to compliment me, ew. You can call it boundaries all you want, but at the end of the day, you just come off as rude and a female dog. There are real problems in this world and trying to bring down someone that is trying to uplift you is probably the least you need to worry about. Like, let's be for real. I really hope you self-reflect and you apologize to this woman because the way you come across is just plain rude. We all know that curly hair takes time, maintenance, and money. And shit, I would appreciate a compliment. But you know, there's some girls that are like you and they're just rude and they don't want a compliment because they think they're better than everyone else. Props to that security guard because she is 100% a better person than me. Because if you were to turn around and tell me that shit, not only would I take back my compliment, but I would humble you so hard. As a human being, please do better. See, how are you? She came in with pretty curls. Now she came in Can you please not talk about when I switch up my hair? See? And this is what gets me. <laughs> First of all, boom, over your heads. Over everyone's heads. Because why are you acting like y'all don't have any type of comprehension skills? Who starts off a compliment with C? What that said to me was, I was a point of discussion before I even entered the building. <laughs> why? Why was my hair that important that you needed to have that discussion with someone else about what my hair looks like as if that other person didn't have eyes and saw the same thing we all saw. <laughs> we all saw that my hair changed. No one needed you to point it out. That's the one. That's the first thing. Second thing is my sentence start off with, hello, how are you doing? Yours started with C. She came in with curls one day and now she. 
Y'all gonna sit here and talk about, oh, well, now white people can't compliment black people in their hair? Where was the compliment? I missed it. Where was the compliment? You're talking about after she stopped her dead in her tracks and then she tried to cover it up and say, oh, I thought the curls were pretty. Yes, that's my voice for them. Mm -hmm, it is. Um, where was the compliment? There was, there was no compliment in that. And not only that, but ma'am, <laughs> finish your sentence. Let's get back to that part. Finish your sentence. What was you about to say? See, she came in with pretty curls one day and now she, now she what? Person, it's to me, it feels like a microaggression. I deal with it all the time at work. So let me make sure I understand this. There used to be a time where you weren't considered the standard of beauty, which y'all complained about incessantly. Now that you are the standard of beauty and people are recognizing how versatile you could be, especially with your hair, you got a problem with that. So when you weren't the standard of beauty, that was racist. Now that you are the standard of beauty, also racist. You cannot make this up. See, how are you? She gave him a pretty curl. Now she came Can you please not talk about when I switch up my hair? It's so weird watching stitches to this video and people arguing to the death that this wasn't a microaggression, yet insisting that it was a compliment. And I've watched the video several times and I'm still trying to figure out what the compliment was. Like, is the compliment in the room with us right now like to me it sounded like the security guard or whatever the lady was was talking to somebody else and stating loud enough for anybody to hear just pointing out that the woman recording's hair is different now than it was before that's not a compliment and just because the word pretty was in it doesn't make it a compliment the woman recording even said like you can say that you can compliment me you can say that the hair is pretty but you don't need to point out every time that it's changed and that is like what people are in i feel like are intentionally overlooking was that the security lady all she did was point out that the woman's hairstyle was different she didn't compliment her that wasn't a compliment the only compliment i really heard came later when the woman was like trying to defend herself but that the instigating statement was not a compliment hey, how are you? she came in with pretty curls now she came can you please not talk about when i switch up my hair i'm just gonna say this i don't understand why napkin warriors snot goblins and eight by five by eleven women and people don't understand that you consistently having a comment towards a woman's hair, especially a black woman, feels very much so as a microaggression because we don't do that to you. We don't care when you color your hair. We don't care if you choose to put more body or highlights or whatever. We don't pay attention to that because that's your problem, your body, your autonomy. We don't care. But you care. You pay attention to us like as if we we're a, a wild animal at a zoo. Unfortunately to say. And what I hate the most is that when you get called out on it, instead of saying my apologies, you turn yourself into a victim. How, Sway? How do you turn yourself into a victim when you are the culprit, you are the organizer, you are the master plan of this whole entire situation? We had to put a federal law, the Crowns Act, just to keep y'all from, you know what I'm saying, from using our hairstyles as reasons of why we shouldn't be working um, at work or at schools or attend certain events. Please, you 8x5x11 snot goblins, napkin warriors, just leave black women alone, preferably. Because their men are ready to just string you out and make sure that there ain't nothing left of you like they they men they're men yes they're black men are ready to do that because we getting tired of y'all a lot of people are even your own kind is getting tired of y'all it makes me uncomfortable cool i think we messed up big time when we gave random citizens the term microaggressions because now microaggressions can be whatever you want them to be now i think everybody's entitled to not wanting to receive compliments from outside forces and the people giving those compliments aren't entitled to positive reciprocation of those compliments but for her to make this situation about being black is insane to me now i don't know these people but based off of this video alone this encounter had absolutely zero race
back into it. Now, I think it's one thing if you're attempting to educate somebody, I guess, but it's more so about her condescending tone and harsh demeanor, as if that security guard's intent was to be racist or call out her blackness. That's like somebody telling me, you sure do switch up your do-rag colors a lot. I don't know, I like the variety. And then I say, who the hell do you think you're talking to? With these kinds of people, I will play the hypocrisy game all day. These are not the same kinds of people that would confront somebody for saying, oh yeah, this one got some seasoning. Oh, this one got some soul. This one got some rhythm. I don't know, it's like, was your goal to get that security guard to never ever compliment another black woman ever again simply out of fear? Because if so, you might have succeeded. I think common sense would say that that's causing way more divide than unity. And over a compliment is crazy. Not talk about when the lady's right. It's not a compliment. Because if I see something nice, I'm going to say, wow, that looks nice. If something is cute, I'm going to be like, wow, that's cute. I'm not going to say... Wow, you are in a different shirt yesterday, but today you're wearing that shirt and it's cute. You see how that's dumb? You see how, like, how dumb that sounds? Like, why do you have to comment on the previous hairstyle that she had? Even if they were both cute or they were both amazing, like, you like the last hairstyle, so you like the last hairstyle. This time, so you like that one. It is a microaggression because you're pointing out to everyone in the vicinity that she needs to switch up her hair every time or she has switched up her hair every time. It's clearly not real, you know, since she has to keep switching it up. Like, it's almost or is a backhanded compliment depending on how you look at it because you're literally telling the entire place her hair was literally just different. She had to switch it up. And in 2023, information is free. Go on Google, go to the library, ask a black person the history of our hair because it's filled with tragedy. And that microaggression may seem little to a white person, to a non-black person, but our hair is our culture. So for the people that stitched her video and was like white people can't even make compliments anymore wow or this thing i keep hearing black privilege which makes zero sense like it's just people who are clearly uneducated and don't know what actually is going on in the world check my hair i think it's beautiful i'm not really sure what to think about this <clears throat> and the only reason why i looked it up is because everybody was talking about it you know <sighs> listen I have had my fair share of dealings with real microaggressions, real ones. But I got a couple of questions. Why was this a setup? Why does she feel the need to record that? It goes back to what I said. This generation of people are offended by everything. You, <clears throat> so we change our hair, but we get we have a problem with the fact that people notice that we change our hair. So the question would be, if the woman that said that was black, would you? Th I mean, it. Oh my God, it's unbelievable. I mean, are you for real? You know. When I, before I retired, you know, I was a uh, Department of Homeland Security. I would change my hair routinely. And the majority of the executives were, were non-black. I would make a joke. I'm like, yes, I have my new hair today. What's the big deal? Everybody's so offended by the smallest stuff, you overlook the real big stuff. I feel like I feel like it's a microaggression by complimenting your damn hair. So this is what we're doing now. And we wonder why people don't really take us seriously. I'm just gonna keep it a thousand. I'm for my black people. I'm for it. But sometimes we we reach in. Sometimes we reach in. On the strength, you know, maybe it takes <clears throat> women my mom's age to let remind us that we couldn't even wear our natural hair in any shape, form, or fashion in any type of workplace. So, 
Okay, so we can't acknowledge that progress has been made. Okay? I mean, I'm not saying that they're not some racists. We know that there are. But everything is not that. But yet, we are the first to talk about how we change our hair because it's an accessory. It is. But we don't expect nobody to notice and say nothing. Especially if they think it's pretty. This is too much. Now, a microaggression would be, in my opinion, what you do to your hair. Y'all something else. So we've all seen this clip by now. This young lady, black woman, goes into her office and a white woman. All right, excuse my appearance in the filter, but I just got out of the gym and I've never felt compelled to stitch or duet a video before because usually somebody else makes that same point and there's no need to be redundant. However, I have had a former childhood best friend um, come to me with essentially the exact same situation as the first video. I'm only talking about the first video. And she was a white woman in the situation and could not understand why her coworker did not take that compliment well. And I realized in the discussion it was helpful to give her a scenario that she that was equivalent that she had experienced in a, in a way to to get the point across. So I'm going to use a personal story of mine about one of my male counterparts. I'm sure we've all had a male that made a comment or two about what we were wearing. And surface level, it might sound like a compliment, but we can hear the dig. And just to give you an example of just one of the times. And he made it every single time he saw me in the office. He would make a comment. There was one time that I had like a new royal blue dress that I was wearing. And when he saw me, he said, oh, you're wearing blue. Looks good. You know, I almost didn't recognize you not wearing all black. I'm sure we can all recognize the, the, the dig there. And you know in this first video that it is a dig that she was making. Solely for one fact. If she had given that compliment to a white woman... How would that typically be delivered if you wanted to give a compliment about someone's hair? You just say, oh, I love your new hair. I love the short hair. It looks so good on you. I love the new color. Never have I received a compliment that got that referenced yesterday's hair or January's hair or any other previous. It's just one statement made about how good the hair looks. So the format changes for a black woman of how that compliment is delivered. That's how you know it's a dig. That's how you know it's a microaggression. Because that same statement would not have been made to me or anybody else with my skin down. So from the stitches, I know you guys can see that there are people with two different opinions. There are a group of people that feel, yeah, it was a microaggression, the way the woman said it and what she said to her. And there are also people that feel like, okay, it wasn't a microaggression. She was just complimenting you and that she was kind of rude for not taking the compliment and just going along with the rest of her day. So now to what I think, first of all, I have to state that I haven't been in a position where I've experienced microaggression from a palm color person. Because as you guys know, I don't live in America and I'm not saying that it's only in America that this happens. But anyway, I hope you guys get the point of what I'm trying to say. But now to look deeper at the situation, if you observe the way that conversation started, you will notice that she said, see, today she came in with so and so and yesterday she had so and so hairstyle. And that is an indicator that she was already being talked about before she stepped into the room, just like this lady said. So who is she talking to? She definitely wasn't talking to the black woman herself. She was talking to someone else. So I don't think I should take it as a compliment when I'm being talked about before I'm in the room. And then when I come back in the room, you continue your conversation as if I'm not there. That is the first red flag. Then the second thing is, I'm surprised as to 
Why do palm colored people, palm colored women at this point still seem fascinated or surprised by the fact that black women can change up their hairstyles? I mean, if we were to go by how many years black people have been in the United States and of course the internet as well, I see no reason why any modern day palm colored person who is matured and exposed would not know that black women change up their hairstyles regularly. We have a variety of ways we can wear our hair, we can straighten it, we can color it, we can curl it up we can put it in box braids we can wear a variety of weaves and wigs so the fact that they still act surprised or shocked and want to point it out every single time a black woman has a different hairstyle to me is i don't know like what is the reason behind that and does it mean that they themselves don't change their hairstyles because i'm sure that they do maybe put highlights in a different color a different cuts maybe wear like extensions in their hair i'm sure that they do and i'm also doubting that black women put as much effort into scrutinizing and commenting on their hairstyles and when they change things up the way they do about our hairstyles and when we change things up so normally everybody knows that when it comes to black hair it is already a sore topic because of the history of black hair in western countries because this is not limited to just america alone black women have been scrutinized about their hair so having a palm color person almost like watching everything you do with your hair and making it a point of duty to comment on it and then talk about how oh the other day you had it in this style and today you have it in the other style i can understand why even to the palm color person it may seem like a compliment or maybe to a man because i mean men probably don't experience that so to someone who doesn't experience that kind of in quotes scrutiny and compliment you could take it as a compliment but as someone who is on the receiving end it kind of gets tired and gets old to see someone commenting and we know how this thing gets sometimes today is oh your hair is nice tomorrow is oh this is a different hairstyle can i touch it and then when you've given them that level of familiarity and they become comfortable with you and then you now try to set a boundary and be like don't touch my hair you hurt their feelings and you guys know the possible repercussions when you hurt the feelings of a palm colored woman especially if this happened in the work environment how they can weaponize the whole hurt feelings so this could actually just be the black woman sensing the possibilities of what could come out of interactions like this and nipping it right in the bud before it goes too far so i i don't know if i'd call it a microaggression so i think i'm going to let you guys make up your minds about what it is but i can definitely understand you not feeling comfortable about that kind of interaction and setting a boundary and she was not rude about how she said it then another topic of discourse that came up is why was she recording the interaction like did she go in there with her camera prepped to record and my guess is she had already been getting those comments from that particular lady and she wanted to get it on camera this time around right so people are saying she's doing it for class people are saying oh this generation of people especially black people are always looking for things to be offended by and maybe that's why she filmed it so that she can put it on the internet and make a bigger fuss about it when it wasn't really that big a deal but whatever her reason was for filming it i do not know all i know is that well we are having a discussion about this i just feel like our people black people especially black women are not very comfortable with palm color people because sometimes we know that we get complimented but it is a backhanded compliment we don't just trust them that much so i think that is why it is easy for us to put up a wall and be defensive but yes she has a right to feel a way and she has a right to set a boundary but i want to know what you guys think because obviously even some people in our community actually critiqued her for the whole video and the way she didn't take the compliment so i want to know do you guys agree with her setting that boundary and do you guys think it was also a microaggression the way the woman said what she said or do you guys think the black woman kind of took it a little too far and she didn't have to film it she also didn't have to respond in the way that she did please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in my next video bye